Alright, here we go with another video this time, and if you saw Martin S5 1989's video on his Beauty and the Beast collection and his Little Mermaid collection, and also if you saw Mr. Johnny V1993's recent video on his Aladdin collection and his Lion King collection, well, I decided to do myself a collection video, which will be my nothing but my Pinocchio collection, which I got three VHS tapes. One DVD and two al and two albums. So before we get started, I was supposed to do I was originally supposed to do my retrospective on Curly Howard, but I'm gonna have to hold that off until the next video. I'm gonna have to hold that off until the next video because I have to do this Pinocchio collection. And so let's get to started. I got like I said, I got three VHS tapes to show you one DVD and two vinyl records so let's get to it start with the 1985 VHS that I got off eBay uh, back in May of 2010 here's the spine here's the back yep this is the uh, the first printing of the Pinocchio trilogy oh and I forgot to tell you this is gonna be dedicated to home of the good guys uh, system operator Nick William 89 and Scat Man, Nick, and a bunch of others who love Pinocchio. And, yep, this is a 1985 VHS. I know Mr. Johnny V1993 also has this tape. So does Nick William 89, Aubrey Man, 620, Aubrey Man 627, and maybe a bunch of others. And, yep, Spine moves back. And, according to Newsweeks, it says, A Masterpiece of Fantasy. And, according to the New York Times, it says, The best thing Mr. Disney has done, and therefore the best cartoon ever made. Ain't that the truth. I'm going to open this up. Yep, it's got the original sticker label. And the print date is February 6, 1986. So this is a reprint. But, it does open up with the 1984 FBI screens. And, does this copy of the uh, Black Cauldron trailer? No, it does not. Nope, this copy does not have it. But after the feature person t after the nineteen eight after the nineteen eighty four face screen set goes to the nineteen eighty four GC Classics logo and the start of the movie. Yep. And also I have the nineteen ninety three VHS. This copy I had since since that year, nineteen ninety three, and I know Martin S5, Martin S5, 1989, Mr. Johnny V, 1993, um, Nick William, 89, Aubrey May, 20, Aubrey May, 627, Home of the Good Guys, well, Chris from Brooklyn also has this tape as well, but here's the spine, the back, and it says, Pinocchio is a classic that has carved an honor place for itself in motion pictures for itself in motion picture history says Gene Shalit of ABC NBC TV and also stated by Los Angeles Times the legendary milestone won two Academy Awards for best score and best song when you wished upon a star and yep it did or no yeah and I'll show you the tape with the ink label. And the print date is April 18th, 19... No, February 18th. Yeah, sorry. February 18th, 1993. This copy opens up with the 1984 FBI screens. And plus, it also includes a previews for Aladdin. Then the feature presentation. Then this tape also has the restored 1992 Walt Disney Classics logo. And... Yep, this is the first time that you would see the Buena Vista logo appear in Pinocchio. And after that, you, after the Buena Vista logo, we go right to the film. Okay. Now, let's talk about this one, the 1999 VHS. I got at a garage sale back in the same day, the same, well, just about a couple weeks I got the 19, just a couple weeks after I got the 1985 VHS. But... This one's pretty good. It's got six. The special 60th anniversary edition includes the bonus programming, a rare behind-the-scenes look at how Walt Disney created this legendary 
Masterpiece, fully restored, digitally remastered, THX certified for, spectac uh, for spectacular clarity and sound. And also, one of the one of the greatest an American films of all times is The Late Joel Siegel. And here's the ink label. And this has print date from April 18th, 1999. Just, um, how many days was it? Just about six, no, seven days, and you know, seven days after, and seven days after, and two years before, the Twin Towers were attacked. Which I feel sorry for those guys, but oh, and I know Nick William eighty nine and Aubrey Man six twenty seven also has this tape, and and um, there's some copies on here that does have the. And there's some copies that does have the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, and some do, do not. Does this one have it? Nope, this copy does not have it, unfortunately. But after the after the feature presentation logo, we just go to the THX logo, which it doesn't creep me, Martin, Aubrey, or Nick out. And, out, and after that THX logo, we go right. We go to we go right to the Point of Vista logo, and then the movie. But, yep, there you go. And now let's talk about the 2009 Platinum Edition DVD. Oh. Yep, this is the 2009 DVD release. Then I know Home of the Good Guys, Martin S5, 1989, Mr. Johnny V, 1993, Nickelodeon, 89, Aubrey, 27, and maybe a few others. And Walt Disney's original classic that taught the world to wish upon a star. And, yep, this is a 2009 DVD, and I'm going to open this up, yep, here's disc 1, which has Pinocchio and the Blue Fairy, disc 2, which has Geppetto Figaro and Jimmy D. Cricket, show you the DVD guide in here, yeah, it's got all the stuff in here. Look for the next Platinum Edition series, Snow White, which, which Snow White and Fantasia, which Fantasia is no longer coming out on a Diamond Edition. Uh, I mean, on a Platinum Edition, it's coming out on a Diamond Edition, just like Snow White and Beauty and the Beast did. Which I have not. Oh, and I have not gotten the Diamond Edition of Beauty and the Beast yet. No, I have not gotten it yet. But I'm gonna get it soon, maybe for Christmas, because Christmas time is almost here. <sighs> And all this stuff. And there you go. There you go with the 2009 DVD. And this has great quality. And also, oh, this DVD copy does not use the Buena Vista logo. Instead, this copy uses its original RKO Radio Pictures logo. For some reason, that's pretty strange. It was also shown on the Blu-ray release, which I don't have. And now let's get on to the vinyls. First one, we have the soundtrack of Pinocchio. This is a 1959 release, and I know, I know, Home of the Good Guys also has this one as well. And Terry T. 1976 has the original 1956 soundtrack uh, album, which while I don't yet, but I might, I'm not gonna try to find it because I'm kind of happy with this musical from the original motion picture soundtrack. It's got When You Wish Upon a Star, Give a Little Whistle, I Got No Strings, and Hi Dilly Dee Dee. And of course, yep, it's got pictures, all the stuff. It's got When You Wish Upon a Star, Cricket Theme, Little Wooden Head, The Blue Fairy Arrives, When You Wish Upon a Star, which is the instrumental version of that one. Give a Little Whistle, Pinocchio Goes to School, Hi Dilly Dee Dee. Side 2 has I've Got No Strings, Hi Dilly Dee Dee, The Repress. Whale Chase, Instrumental, and Finale. Turn on the old music box and When You Wish Upon a Star. And it's all instrumental. Instrumental. Or, or actually just, um, or When You Wish Upon a Star just has some singing in it at the end. Choir singing. And yep, this copy does have the bright yellow Disneyland label. Yep, this copy does have it. 
And I will be posting this soundtrack very soon. Here's side one. Here's side two. Very cool soundtrack. If you love, if you love the soundtrack of movies, go check this one out. I like this one a lot. And also, the last Pinocchio collection I have is another vinyl. This this is a storyteller version of Pinocchio. This is a 1960 release. It's got same probably pretty much the same songs, but this only has two pages. That's it, two pages. That's it, or three, I should say. And of course, it's got the purple label. Here's side one, side two. Records warped, but still plays not bad. And that's it with my Pinocchio collection, and, I'll, and stay tuned for my next video, which I'll see you then.